Azalea Banks, the queen of scandal, is almost always involved in an online feud with other celebrities. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Ever since Beyonce made her initial announcement about her intention to dominate the country music scene, the New Yorker has been criticizing the Houston native and her spouse, Jay-Z the 212 hitmaker's sons, or someone who directly draws inspiration from their elders' discography, and overall look, include Doge, another female starlet, who has caught Banks' interest recently. This week, the controversy found its way to the breakfast club. You know what I got out mm. of all of that? Why was that? That Azalea Banks is selling Bussy Boy soap. Where host DJ Envy, Jess Hilarious, and Charlemagne the God dissected the events. The God, on the other hand, showed particular interest in a quip made by Azalea Banks, mocking Banks for selling Bussy Boy soap on the internet rather than releasing fresh songs. But I just Googled it, and I'm about <laughs> to order two bars just because this is hilarious. I know, that's right. Despite Despite being a married, straight man, the radio host was eager to acquire some of the $7 hygiene goods offered by the rap artist. It says, make that bussy beam, boy. Helps with irritation due to friction from rough anal sex. Hemorrhoids, jock itch, and bacterial overload. He read the product description out loud. Scent options include boyberry blue and Georgia peach. Yes, <laughs> I'm buying some right now. This is so funny. It says for that glazed donut hole effect. Charlemagne laughed at the NSFW marketing. I said I want two Cause bars. you don't have a bussy. <laughs> Dochi is a rising artist who is becoming a true celebrity. All in all, she has produced some amazing projects in addition to successful songs. She has also collaborated with some of the most well-known female musicians in the entire industry. She is getting acknowledged for her efforts, which has resulted in a growing following. Unfortunately, some people still seek to bring shame on Dochi in spite of his accomplishments. Azalea Banks is one such individual. She just posted some dubious remarks online. Knowing Banks even a little bit will let you realize that she can be rather cruel. Usually, she saves her harsh criticisms for celebrities like Grimes, Beyonce, and Nicki Minaj. But Tuesday night, she made the decision to target Doce. Banks said that Doce was an ugly replica of herself in an Instagram comment. She also stated that the performer needs to address her followers as wannabes. It was an inconsiderate remark, and Doce took note of it. This subsequently led to a clapback that was both strong and biting. The first time you came for me I let it slide out of respect for my elders, Doce began. It's not my fault you selling bussy soap and I'm selling platinum records. Leave me alone please. Should we take away any lesson from this, it is that Dochi is not someone to be trifled with. She has a great deal of self-confidence, and she doesn't see it changing anytime soon. Regarding Banks, maybe it's time to put an end to this feud right away. Azalea Banks has escalated her disapproval of Beyonce, specifically focusing on her most recent album, Cowboy Carter. The Super Bowl ad last month, Beyonce unexpectedly proclaimed the start of her new country music era. Following the news, a plethora of fans expressed their excitement for the next album and their love for the move on social media. Azalea Banks was among many who took issue with the relocation. She expressed her displeasure with the move's appearance on Instagram. Them critics are not just going to accept an ugly blonde wig and bullying from Jay-Z. It's giving big-time musical grift. Yes, black girls can make country music but you're just really not hitting the button. She said, with the record now out, Banks is expressing her opinions once more. Before listening to the record for the first time, she questioned on social media as to whether she was going to backtrack, but she soon responded, stating absolutely not. Themes are redundant. The lyrics are really forced. Album is too long plus who is this imaginary adversary sis think still wants to hump on Jay in 2024 her response begins. She even finds certain aspects of the record that she enjoys, so she doesn't completely detest it. She does, however, admit that she fell asleep while listening to the record before wrapping up her assessment. One of Banks' main targets for her outbursts has been Jay-Z Banks was already targeting Jay a few days prior to Beyoncé's unexpected Super Bowl declaration. She held him accountable for the rap fan's attention-grabbing feud between Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion earlier this year. Erica Badu is furious with Beyoncé's alternate Cowboy Carter album cover art, believing it is a complete rip-off of her. No, she is not flattered. Beyoncé revealed the image on Wednesday. Erica reposted the picture with a mockingly inquisitive hum comment after B was accused of stealing her trademark beaded bob hairstyle without even acknowledging the source. Supporters, particularly Beyoncé's, noticed Eb's claim of a style jacking right away. The beehive is so infuriated that Erica moved from Instagram to X, where she posted a plea for Jay-Z to save her. Say something Jay. You gon' let this woman and these bees do this to me. It's a difficult situation for her to place Hav in considering how offensive his wife Erica is. Erica's focus on the hairstyle is noteworthy because Beyoncé's alternate Cowboy Carter album cover art features a lot of action. 
The singer is pictured in the buff and is the only one wearing a sash with her cousin Angie's last name, Beyonce, and Act 2 stamped across the front. Beyonce has drawn criticism from Erika Badu for allegedly emulating her style, specifically Badu's signature headgear. R&B legend shared a photo of Beyonce in East Rutherford, New Jersey, during her most recent Renaissance tour stop on Sunday, July 30th. J Famous C's wife Beyonce wore a metallic, wide-brimmed hat in addition to matching bedazzled Ivy jerseys and knee-high boots with her oldest daughter Blue Ivy. Erica seemed perplexed as to how Beyonce made her selection of hat given that she has made shimmering, wide-brimmed hats her go-to accessories for years. Hum, she wrote underneath the picture of Bay's outfit. She then posted a picture of herself performing in a hat similar to the former Destiny's Child singers, adding, I guess I'm everyone's stylist. Favorite chrome mirror hat. Recently, Yassian Bey and Erika Badu completed their massive co headlining on Follow Me Tour. The journey began in San Antonio, Texas, last month and traveled through New York, Atlanta, Nashville, and other cities before ending on July 23rd in Dallas. The on and on singer claimed that the tour's name absolutely had to do with the current cancel culture in our society. In an interview with Vibe just before it started, it definitely has to do with cancel culture, she said. It's funny, it's become a baduism, pretty much. Whenever someone says something in the comments, they don't agree, I don't care, unfollow me, does it matter. I also say unfollow me because I'm lost too, she continued. We all on an individual journey, we're finding our way. So following me wouldn't really benefit you because you are on your journey. That's your cup you're drinking out, this is mine. And I want to encourage people to do that too, and it's a reminder to myself. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.